What is up guys, Nolly here and welcome to the beautiful Benevolent Bank webpage. We are listening to this music right now, just so you guys know, this is the music from the Bene Benevolent Bank, Big Bank trailer. Uh, I've been using it with vocals lately, but um, on the webpage itself we have an instrumental only version which I'm probably going to be using in the future for some future Payday Mask of the Day episodes. Uh, you guys remember I do have a Twitter account, this will be in the link of all of my descriptions from now on, so please do check that out. So, let's go on to the rest of the webpage. Today I actually intended to do um, just a little live stealth mission, actually, uh, and record it with a webcam. But uh, seeing as how I found this, I changed it up, and so tomorrow the plan is, as soon as Big Bank comes out, comes out gentlemen, Big Bank, let's make history. As soon as it comes out, I'm going to be recording a live commentary without playing it before. You can get all my live reactions, and I'm going to record them on this little camera device by me, which says it's HD. So, uh, hopefully the quality will be good enough. And because I'm using Camtasia, I can do that pretty seamlessly. I love this new recording software. I still have to use for apps for some things. Uh, I do have to play most games in window mode, which is a pain, but I like Camtasia on the whole. Also, I apologize for this strange black, black lot, uh, line that seems to have started appearing. I think it's something think to do with the colour contrast they've done with the web page and it's a bit of a glitch but not the end of the world. If money is the lifeblood of this city then the benevolent bank is its beating heart. There is a reason it's known simply as the big bank. Few cities in America have the heritage of DC and few institutions in DC boast the heritage of the benevolent. Look it up if you want a history lesson. There's one fact you need to know. The benevolent has never been robbed. Many have tried. The Nesta Gank in 40, the Beltway Bunch in 77, all failed. You're going to change that. But the Benevolent is rich. You'll see that as soon as you walk in. The place wants for nothing. Bohemian crystal chandeliers, the counters are Tuscan marble. But what you'll be really interested in is the vault. It's big, strong, and 100% Pittsburgh. You could fit... In fit ten harvesty, uh, harvesty, harvest and trusty branches in the benevolent. So believe me when I say it's big. But we have a little help this time. This is the big one, the ultimate bank robbery achieved by stealthy guile or relentless force. Can you make history by planning the perfect heist and unlocking the big bank? Planning! That's important, we'll get onto that later. This content will be available for $6.99, slightly more expensive I believe than usual. Um, Give me about five pound to those of you in Britain, um, and it's of course available from tomorrow, the 17th of June, a Tuesday update, which is a nice surprise. It comes slightly earlier. Like always, this heist will be playable for those that don't buy it, as long as they join a game hosted by someone that bought it. I don't feel like you can complain. I know I originally said this stuff's probably going to be free, uh, similar to like Shadow Raid and um, Election Day. They're both free heists, but this stuff is huge. And um, the offers, that, the, the things that come alongside it are brilliant, and just just a simple offer to play it if you just have a, a, a friend host it who has bought it is good enough for me to say that they do DLCs perfectly. So the dentist, you got this job through a new contact, calls himself the dentist. We don't know much. He appeared out of nowhere, got no record, no prize, could be the goddamn prince of darkness. He's ruthless and well con connected. And that makes him dangerous. Let's make sure he isn't dangerous to us. I'm sure we'll eventually figure out his agenda. For now, I can tell you that he has a real flair for planning. Pre-planning. The bank is so big and complex, so we're going to tighten... Is... Sorry, I was so in the wrong place there. So we're going to tighten up our planning. The dentist got us some up-to-date floor plans, and is supplying a whole bunch of favours. Some crazy stuff, you'll see. You can spend these favours however you wish, just select the favour and drop it in on the map. The dentist will take care of the rest for a small sum of cash. You choose what you want and where you want it. Plan, prepare and execute. If you guys saw the E3 demo, this was the primary focus. So, this bag, you can stash supplies in paces best suited to your strategy. A spiked cake to keep the cards busy. Uh, <laughs> God knows why the guards just go up and eat the spike cake. Uh, get an overlook and whereabouts of guards. Heat the place up when you crank the uh, uh, when you crank the vault. Or crank when you crack the vault. Uh, I assume that's going to be fire igniting, similar to what you can do on missions like um, what's it called? More crashes. 
and in a variety of ways to get your badass selves out. I talked about driving a bus into the side. That was in itself amazing, but there are other ways we can do this. I haven't seen all the options yet, and neither of you guys, and I can't wait to see all the ways. And this, this is perfect for the Payday game. This is just what they needed. It already has random variety. On top of that, you couple more RNG, more choice. It's, it's perfect. It's the best way to make a game along these lines. And I, I finally think they're starting to grasp all of the potential of the game. As I've said in a few videos prior, let's actually watch this. Make sure it's muted. Oh, that uh, turns the music off, unfortunately. We have to turn that back on. So you can see, you can place it. it it's, it's detailed um, assets, basically. Asking where you'll mark on the map. How cool is that? So you can choose specific points, which is the way it kind of has to be, but that's of course the house is going to go loud. That's where you choose to hold off. Additional cameras? So you've got an, an overlook of the main hall. Escape pan plans, C4 tunneling, bus stop, the elevator trick, um, basic plan B aircraft. It's brilliant. So the aircraft is most likely a helicopter on the front. Let's see what's this. Ground floor, front door. Oh, this is just the insider info. You can see exactly where's what. The security is there. Vault security number one and vault security number two. Um, we may have to take both these guys out to get into the vault. Um, I know we saw something involving a laptop, as we often do. And the music comes back on and we get some strange things in the related... Okay, <laughs> hard to read this when there's this damn black line going across the top. I hope they uh, fix that. Inside the snapshot, the dentist has sent us some images of different places inside the bank. It appears he has someone on the inside to supply his endless need of planning things in detail. Okay, so we've seen these screenshots before, actually. This is, of course, the main entrance. God, it's big! This is the roof from the crane view that we saw in the trailer uh or the gameplay footage from GameStop. This is the main lobby. Uh, I believe the vault's actually through this door, but there's probably m multiple entrances. Graphically, this map looks amazing. Um, and just to those of you who, who I said, uh, maybe the next-gen consoles will look better. Yes, I know PC, PC Master Race, all that. I'm a PC fan, it's what I use, but I do have an Xbox One. Um, and it, it's, there's a distinct possibility that the time and planning and difference in time that's got into... Um, the next gen consoles, I believe it's like Crime Wave Edition, it, it has a name now, I've forgotten, but I don't know the exact release date, so I'm not going to tell you until we get more information. Um, the point is, they might have put more in time and F into maximizing and optimizing these graphics, and we'll hopefully see an update on PC to make it look even better. I mean, this looks good. This looks really good. It might just be their chosen aesthetics to fill it, but overall the graphics look perfect. So mass patterns and materials. Four mass reflecting the nation's heritage and history as it appears on dollar bills. Two founding fathers, three great presidents, and four visionary men that mark the huge wealth resting deep within the benevolence bolt. B bolt? Vault. <laughs> These are really cool masks. Uh, I think they've done the presidential theme somewhat better this time. They've done it like straight off the note. You'll see from the texture and colour. Um, the other presidential masks were more comedic, whereas these are cool, and I love monochrome, so it's perfect for me. So here we've got Washington. His name may now be a byword for corruption and ineptitude, but Washington was the finest leader of, in war and peace the world has seen. As a reason, he was unanimously elected the very first president. Grant, the, fa the famed general who took Lee's surrender. Ulysses was a magnam magnanimous, was ma as magnanimous in victory as he was energetic in governance. He was the driving force of the post-war reconstruction. Lincoln, despite leading the U.S. through its greatest crisis, the Civil War, Abe was what politicians should be: the sort of force of temperance and uh, conciliation that is missing from today's nest of crooks. Columbus may be credited with discovering the Americas, but it was Franklin that really found America. A statesman, inventor, diplomat, scientist, activist and author, he remains America's Da Vinci. Really great maths, really good descriptions, you can see they're going along the serious line this time. Last time they made jokes actually at um, the, the previous presidents, particularly um, 
you got Clinton and Nixon that they made a little bit of a crook joke out, which they've obviously kept away from this time, uh, showing these guys as respected figures. So we have really regal Roman type patterns, which is of course the um, idea for the the main structural idea for the bank. It, it draws a lot of it from Roman culture. Um, and we can see exactly what we've got. We've got this traditional Roman pattern. We have the uh, laurel wreath. We have like another Spartan helmet. Exactly how this is going to work, I don't know. We already have a helmet like that. Can't tell what that pattern is going to be like. We'll have to see. Here we have a very similar sort of sinister type pattern. Um, a more navy coloured, uh, fainter pattern. This looks quite similar to copper. And this is of course the Tuscan marble. New weapon is the Falcon Rifle. We have seen this, I believe. Um, hard hitting and lethal. The Falcon Rifle offers a blend of the 7.62 uh, stopping power in a highly modular package. With over 500 years of service worldwide, it's seen its fair share of battles and proved its reliability in such environments. Keep in mind its lengthy and hefty its length and hefty recoil when engaging in a brawl with the law. If used correctly, it'll prove to be a valuable asset. When the shit hits the fan. A little bit of swearing in this video, by the way, if you guys, I hope you guys don't mind that. I'm, of course, reading it. Uh, this game is, I believe, a 15 plus. It might be an 18, I'm not sure. Um, but I will, I will swear just when it's on the page and you guys can read it anyway. Um, but I do normally try and keep away from that, as you guys should know. Falcon Rifle. It looks cool. It looks totally like it could be the perfect single fire weapon with the single fire mod. There are some really good ones, you saw it in my Death Wish videos. I did it with the um, AUG type weapon. It's really good with the ACOG scope. For this trusted automatic, there's a whopping 9 mods that you can lock by completing the achievements, including in this pack. As I said in the Gauge Sniper pack, I like that. It's It's better than grinding and just hoping you get the drop and they're refining that system day in, day out. Take the challenge of unlocking all new achievements from the fu the funding fathers complete the heist with team members each wearing a new mask, or helping Bobblehead Bob lead the civilian in the trailer to the vault. I'm so happy this is back. By the way, the civilian in the trailer was really cool. He was unique, and uh, people actually really liked him. They did a really good job making him likable, made him fall off the roof, which seemed a little on the uh, murderous side. But uh, no, it was it was really good. You have 10 new ways to write yourself into the history books. These masks do look fantastic, their pictures look really good. Um, just very slight analysis, we've got, that's most likely Bullhead Bob's. Here we have some sort of laser beam based or break in, god knows how that's going to work. Completing these achievements will also unlock the mask patterns, materials and mods included in the pack. Again, these are the mask and... Um, pattern material unlocks, and we'll have to see exactly how to do that. It'll probably be a very akin to the Gage Sniper Pack. But wait, there's more! Poetry winners, mass designs, patterns and materials. I, of course, didn't win. What a shame. <laughs> we, we've known for a while, actually, who the winners were. Really good poems. We are proud to present the fruits of the inaugural poet, uh, Overkill Poetry Jam. Four mass patterns and materials designed in collaboration with the winners of the competition. Of course, toned down some of the copyright stuff, most likely. It is always a great experience working with members of the community to bring the content that they want to see in the game. And they really are doing. And we're looking forward to doing it again soon. All these masks will be available for free for anyone who owns the Payday 2 official soundtrack on Steam or pre-ordered the Career Criminal Edition. So I'm in twice there. <laughs> Don't think I'll get double the mask though. So we have the Optimist designed by the community. All of these are. I like this mask. This is a really fun one. Be the change you want to see in the world. That's what the Optimist believes. As the leader of a peaceful group of robots, he feels it is his responsibility to combat rival bands of robots obsessed with negativity and extermination. His prime weapon rolling out <laughs> positively through constructive reasoning and unbiased logic, or through forced upgrades, which are compulsory. A really, really funny uh, description. When I do a mask of the day on this, I'm going to go into this further, but of course, we're talking Transformers. We're talking prime Optimus rolling out. There's been a lot to do with this lately, especially since Geb on Smite got his uh, GEB1 skin. Criminal Ambitions. I really wish this line wasn't there. Um, this has the TGN symbol on it. The mask only for the most ambitious hater. Take all the loot, leave nothing behind. This is the sign of a true criminal mind. Grab all the diamonds and small additions. Now you're a person with criminal ambitions. <laughs> they made that itself into a... Uh, 
a poem. It's perfect. Um, a really good looking mask. This is the sort of mask that you don't want to customize. It looks so good. Uh, I'm going to have a really hard time. <laughs> we got this funny guy on the right. Um, here we have the metal head. It's another awesome mask. The origin of the metal head is unclear. It looks more of a helmet than a mask. It has spikes pointing out of it and looks very much like a pimped out gas mask made of iron. It's unclear if it protects the wearer from any uh, from any glass or melee weapons, however. It's pretty rad, though. And here we have a war face. You've got a war face. Ah, that's a war face. Let me see your war face. Bullshit, you didn't convince me. Let me see your real war face. Actually, that one's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> this mask looks hilarious. You, you can't deny how funny it looks. Obviously, that was the aim when designing it. Um... It's another comedy mask. It's going to be hard to design that thing to look cool, but it can certainly be designed to look even funnier. So I can't wait to get my hands on that. And here are our patterns. Really cool. We've got a sort of... Um, it, it, it's Japanese style of art. It's it's involving tentacles. Oh yeah, everybody raises eyebrows. But yeah, that is the Japanese style of art. I did actually study that, strangely enough. Uh, now we have the TCN. Did I say TGN? Yeah, it must be uh, TCN. Apologies. The TCN uh, symbol here. That was really silly of me. Um, and then we have this mask, which I think will look really good. Very interesting. I think the right hand side is most likely going to have absolutely n um, no cover up. So I imagine this mask is going to go perfectly on the TCN mask. Um, but this this is one of the most unique design ideas we're going to get, and I can't wait to have a lot of fun with it on Mask of the Day. Not entirely sure what's going on with this pattern, we will have to see when it comes out. Um, and the materials are absolutely perfect. We've got like um, a mesh wire here, we have this awesome orange into bronze, we have the circuit board pardon me, type pattern, I did just eat, and we have this dark sort of burnt metal. Join our Steam community and be notified the next time we do a community contest. So there's probably going to be another one. I have ads that are blocked, apparently. Released June the 17th. So, of course, it's out tomorrow and there is so much to talk about here. Uh, and I'm going to go through it all as it comes out. I'm going to show you all the maths. I'm going to show you how to do the mission. Um, or, well, tomorrow I won't show you how to do it. I'll show you how exactly to fail and fall off a ladder on the mission. Yep, thanks Shadow Raid. Um, but guys, I hope you enjoy all of the upcoming coverage, and uh, indeed this video there might be some slightly disrupted parts, but because I got some Skype calls in the middle, I could do my best to edit them without editing too much of myself. But that is that, thanks a lot, I'll see you guys in the next one.